Hi, Pierre Tessier here with another honeycomb training video. In this one, we're going to go over honeycomb and Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a great infrastructure platform that enables developers greater flexibility in deployment, architecture, and scale of their applications. Let's take a look at how Honeycomb works in these environments for your applications. Let's start off with a Kubernetes architecture. It's a couple of nodes. And every node to do anything on them, you need a, a kubelet, right? So let's put some workloads in here. We've got a couple pods running on our, on our nodes. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the Honeycomb Kubernetes agent. And what this agent will do is it'll start watching those pods that we specified for logs of all kinds of different formats. We could be looking for Nginx logs, JSON logs, Redis logs, even regex, and more. Once it found those logs, it's gonna go ahead and stream the structured data from them into Honeycomb. And as more pods come online, the logs from those pods will also get streamed into Honeycomb. With the agent are also two optional components, metrics and events. The metrics component We'll get resource metrics from the kubelet and send those into Honeycomb. The event component works with the Kubernetes API. As a Kubernetes API emits cluster events, those will get brought into Honeycomb and we'll be able to use them there as well. So all together, this is the Honeycomb Kubernetes agent. And what really helps to get this all installed is using Helm. So here's a script on how we'll get set up with Helm in two bash lines. First, you need to tell Helm where your repo is. Helm repo add honeycomb and our URL for our repo. And then Helm install the honeycomb chart itself, passing in your API key. This will get you up and running with the standard defaults, which will get uh, some data from your control manager as well as data from your cube scheduler. You can modify these defaults. They are called watchers. The modification will look something like this inside of a YAML file, where you'll also put in your API key. These are what the default watchers look like here using the glog parser to parse logs from Kubernetes systems. We'll get more into what these watchers look like in a little bit. Once you've defined this YAML file, to save as something maybe my-values-file-yaml, and we could apply that and install it like this instead. So instead of passing in the API key as a value, we're gonna pass in that values file instead. Now you can see more about this agent source as well as the Helm chart source itself and get all kinds of great documentation from it by following these links. Let's take a look at what that documentation looks like for the Kubernetes agent. The GitHub page for the Honeycomb Kubernetes agent does have instructions on how to run this yourself, though I do recommend you go to the docs folder here where you'll find a configuration reference as well as some example configurations. Inside of here, you'll find everything you need on how to configure the watchers to go find the logs that are you're looking for for your applications and send them up into Honeycomb. Once you have the Honeycomb Kubernetes agent installed using Helm, you'll be able to get three brand new data sets inside of your environment. Kubernetes cluster events, Kubernetes logs, and Kubernetes resource metrics. Inside of these data sets, you'll be able to find the information you're looking for and run queries such as showing an average CPU load for all of the pods. You could filter this by namespace or whatever is appropriate for you and your world. I hope you found this video very informative. Thank you for watching.